about his marriage? I do not like Stacy at all. She's immature. She's lazy. When Stacy met Travis, they fell hard for each other, quickly becoming high school sweethearts. Stacy believed Travis was everything she wanted, and Travis thought he'd want for nothing if he had her. But now, after just one year of marriage, this fairy tale has come to a screeching halt. I said, that's my wife. Tell her to come outside. And he proceeded to threaten me with his dog and pull a gun on me. Yes, I did stay the night with him because Travis stayed the night with his friends. Did you have sex with him? There's no storybook ending for Stacy and Travis. Who cheated on home first? Today, on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Stacy Mizell and John Travis Mizell. The two of you have been married for one year. Yes, Your Honor. And that one year has been a significant portion of your life because you're 19 and you're 20. Yeah. I, I got a couple of those at home, and I can't imagine them uh, making good decisions. But anyway, <laughs> uh, you two now want to get a divorce. There are some financial matters that you would like me to resolve. But before we get there, Ms. Mizell, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, Your Honor, whenever I first got married to Travis, I thought I was marrying my Prince Charming, and I completely expected our marriage to be a fairy tale. But I was wrong. I, our marriage is a nightmare, and I want out of my nightmare. Um, I feel like his housemaid. I do everything for him. I clean up, you know, I wash his dishes, I do his laundry. He sits and plays his video games all the time, and I want attention, but he doesn't give me any. Now, 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 does he work outside the home? Does he have a job? Yes. Do you have a job outside the home? No, I clean up after our house all the time. You okay. Do you, when he comes home from work, do you feel like he pays attention to you? No. That's why I have our dog. That's why I got a dog. It's because he doesn't pay any attention to me at all, and that dog will pay attention to me. <laughs> now, Mr. Mizell, she had to get a dog because you weren't doing your job. That's a scary accusation. Why don't you tell me how you see this matter? You told him about one dog. You didn't tell him about the other 11 animals that well, you, you brought into the you house. Tell, well, you tell me. Mr. Oh, sorry, hey, hey, hey. Talk to me. Mr. Mizell, you say there isn't one dog. There's 12 animals in all. There's 12 animals. What kind of animals do we you have, have? We have five cats. Five cats. Or Yeah, five cats and six dogs and a tarantula. A tarantula. Right here. Oh, there's Molly. Yeah, That's my Molly. favorite. That's Molly. Y'all living oh, in yeah. a kennel. That's a whole lot going on. Yeah, I feel like I live in a kennel. Okay, the beagle, that one is your dog. Yeah. I don't take one care of that dog. one. Now, now, now Ms. Mizell, you came in here and said I had to get a dog in order to feel okay. Now, clearly, that was not what happened. You went out and got a whole menagerie. So you got a whole, you know... Noah's Ark going on there. <laughs> Mr. Mizell, you work. Yes. You come home. Yes. And what happens? Do you sit down at the television set? Do you sit down with the, with the, the, the video game? Or do you engage in conversation and, and exchange with your wife? I walk in the wife? door from work. I come in. She's sitting on the couch with a phone in her hand. And the house is a wreck. The dogs have chewed up stuff, everything. And I asked her, what have you done all day? Oh, well, I've taken a nap, and I've played on my phone. And look Seriously? at our, and I look around, and our house is a mess. Our house is not a mess, yes. We may have 12 dogs or cats or and a tarantula, but the house is clean, and I usually cook supper for him whenever he comes home. I yes. usually cook supper for him? Why don't you always cook supper for him? I don't like to cook. I'm not a good cook. I'm going to be honest. I'm not oh, a yeah. good cook. I do the cooking, too. Neither am I. I I'm one of the worst cooks ever known to man, but, but, but my man and my kids always have something to eat. They may not like it, but it's there <laughs> because it's my gig. <laughs> Are you getting all that housewife stuff done? Mostly, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. going to be honest. Yes, I do sit on my phone sometimes, and yes, I do take a nap. Uh-huh. But that's because I don't like getting up whenever he gets up. 
I don't, he gets up really early and I don't like him getting up that early because when he wakes, when he wakes up, he wakes me up. And whenever I wake up, our animals wake well, why up. why is he getting up early? To go to work. And that bothers you? I mean, it doesn't bother me that he goes to work. It bothers me that he gets up early. Well, you know he's got to be on time, right? He doesn't have to be on time all the time. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Mizell, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You're 19 and 20. What? Why'd you get married? I mean, it's early. It is early. Honestly, I felt like I was rushed into it, if you want me to be completely honest. Did you kind of reel him in a little bit? I mean, you knew you wanted to set up house. This is a good guy. I like him. Let me get him down the aisle. I don't think I, don't think I really wanted him to, like, feel like he was forced to marry me. Because he's, However, the one, he's the one that asked the question. If he well, didn't want to get married, I don't know why I asked the question. When the voice call continues, Travis's mother weighs in and it's not pretty. She don't know how to clean house. She don't know how to do dishes. She can't cook. She's terrible at all of them. She's not a wife to Travis at all. Is the ink on your marriage license barely dry, but you're already ready to call it quits? or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court returns with the case of Stacy Mizell, who says her husband Travis hasn't given her the happily ever after she dreamed of. But is it Travis who's been living a nightmare? Well, she's cheated on Travis already. She texts his other guys on the phone. To Europe if you wouldn't marry him. Yes. Two days before my fa before my wedding, my family sat me down and told me that they would pay for a trip to Europe if I didn't marry him. And I did love Travis and I completely passed up that trip to marry him because I was in love with him. A lot of You know, if he really loves you, you can go to Europe. He'll still be be here when you get back. You never pass up a free trip. <laughs> well, lesson one. You say she's spoiled and doesn't doesn't handle her business. Yeah, she doesn't get along with my mom, which really bothers me. I want her to get along with my family. Speaking of the fact that your mother doesn't doesn't like your wife, we have Arlena Short, your mother, on webcam. Good good day, Mrs. Short. How are you? I'm good. Uh, good. And Travis is your son. Yes. And you are not I happy about his marriage. I do not like Stacy at all. She's immature. She's lazy. She's spoiled. All of the above and whatever else she might want to mention. Yes, I do not I am like spoiled. Girl. When you, you say she's person. spoiled, give me an example. Well, every time she has a problem with Travis, she wants to go home to mommy or granny or somebody in the family. She feels like she needs to air all her problems to her family. I'm not her family, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm so, Travis's mom. So does she come to you, though, with the problems as well? I don't talk no. to her about my issues no. with Travis. She don't talk to me. No, I don't talk to her unless I absolutely have to talk to her. How is she on the, on the, on the uh, homemaker front? Is her house clean? Oh, are you kidding? Clean? No way. She don't know how to clean house. She don't know how to do dishes. She can't cook. She's just, she's terrible at all of them. She's not a wife to Travis at all. Maybe in the bedroom. Oh, well, yeah, you never know about those kind of things. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll stay out of there. But anything that. else? But Mrs. Can, Short, is there anything else you think I need to know about this union? Well, she's cheated on Travis already. She texts his other guys on the phone. She spent the night with an ex-boyfriend just recently while I, they I wouldn't have cheated on, on Travis. You what? I no, 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 If he didn't you cheat on me. Cheated. You have cheated on Travis. Yes, I He's have never. cheated on Travis, but he oh, cheated on my me. Goodness. Mrs. Short, thank you so much. I appreciate your, uh, your coming here and serving as a witness. Thank you. When divorce court continues, Stacy 
he's got some explaining to do. But you did say you cheated on him when you were talking to his mother. What were you referring to? Did Stacy and Travis get married too young? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991. who says her husband Travis ignores her. But to what lengths will Stacy go to get attention from Travis? I said, that's my wife. Tell her to come outside. And he proceeded to threaten me with his dog and pull a gun on me. Who cheated on whom first? Did you cheat on her? Yes. And we I were, caught me, Ms. Mizell, wait a minute, during the first was, year of we marriage? We were not married. You were not married we when you did We were not married. You were dating. We were dating. Got caught up with somebody. Yeah. What 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 did you do? On the cheating front. I can tell you that. On the cheating front, I don't think that it was considered cheating. You just stole your you his stayed mother. the night with the guy. <laughs> yeah, because Mr. You Mr. Mizer, Mr. Mizer, you tell me what she did. Uh, gladly. Um, <laughs> one day she was arguing with me, nagging me, like usual. So I went to stay with a friend. Every five minutes, she was calling me, texting me, wouldn't stop. And that went on for like four hours. And then, then it just quit. So I automatically got suspicious. So I downloaded a uh, tracking app on her iPhone that let me know where she was at. Mm -hmm. So I pulled that up, and it told me a vicinity of where she was around. So I drove around that area, and I found her car in the driveway. So I pull in. And the guy comes out. Did she know? Uh, did you yeah, know her to know her? Yeah, it was one of her exes. Huh? And he came out and he says, what do you want? I said, I want my wife to come outside. But you said, said that you hang on a minute, Mizell. Hang well, on. She said, she's not coming out. I said, that's my wife. Tell her to come outside. And he proceeded to threaten me with his dog and pull a gun on me. Ms. Mizell, what is your uh, a version of that event? Did that yes, happen? Mostly. But it's not like I was at the guy's house by myself. My friends were there, and he had a few of his friends there. Mm -hmm. We weren't there by ourselves, and yes, I did stay the night with him because Travis stayed the night with his friends. Mm -hmm. If I if he wants to be around his friends, my why friends can't I be girls. around my friends? Well, 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 you, when I you say stay the night, did you, did you have sex with him? No. Did no fooling around? No. No advance touching? No, ma'am. Nothing? No, ma'am. That we know of. But you did say you cheated on him when you were talking to his mother. To What were you referring to? If he wants to say that I cheated on him and stayed the night, then yeah, I cheated on him and stayed the night with him. I slept on the couch. Ms. Mizell, do you want to work? I would like to work, but Travis doesn't like me to work because I'll be around guys. Guys work at places, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't no. want me to work. No. M Mr. Mizell, do you not want her to work? No, I do want her to work. Because I work 12-hour jobs, seven mm -hmm. days a week. I can't even keep up with her spending habits on that job, let alone with my bills. Well, let me ask you this. You were talking about her spending habits just these, now. I and I've noticed that shoes. we have a whole display of shoes over there. What's up with your shoes? I love well, those shoes. But w I don't understand. I mean, these are like $60 a pair of shoes. I don't understand why someone needs two pair of glittery shoes. They're the same thing. They've got They're the same design. They're different colors. I have different outfits. Oh, my now, Lord. Now, okay. And it's Ms. Not Mizell, Mr. Mizell, it's not rational. It's not sane. But as long as you're not a Milda Marcos, you know, you got to put up with a lot of extra shoes. I remember my husband went in a closet one day and said, how many feet do you have? <laughs> when divorce court continues, Judge Lynn serves Stacy a plate of reality. You had no business whatsoever talking to the guy that you used to be with and telling him about that piece of your heart that he will always have. Thank that was just tacky and wrong. Thank you. Did Stacy and Travis get married too young? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with you.
with your opinion, you'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. Divorce Court returns with the case of 19-year-old Stacy and 20-year-old Travis, who after only one year of marriage are kissing their young love goodbye. Ms. Mizell, you have indicated before that he has anger management issues. Yes. Do you believe that? Yes. One day he came home and he checked my phone like he always does, and he found where I was talking to one of my friends, and he got very angry, and he flipped our okay, couch that's over. That's what he, he said to that friend. He was it an ex? Yes, it was an ex. Do you understand that that was just wrong? I understand now after he punched four holes in our wall. Who did? He did? Threw our kitchen table up against the wall, everything. What did you have to say to that guy on the phone, the ex? What were you talking about? Mm -hmm. Our past relationship and how I felt about him. Not, not any, like, intimate feelings, but oh. he has a part of me that I won't ever be able to give Travis, ever. I mean, clearly. Shouldn't be punching holes in the wall, but I see where you're coming from. I paid from. to fix them. Yeah. You had no business whatsoever talking to the guy that you used to be with and telling him about that piece of your heart that he will always have. Thank that you. was just tacky and wrong. Thank you. I mean, just there's no excuse for it. So why don't you tell me after a year, you say you want $2,536.35 for engine damage he caused to your 1994 Nissan Sentra in June of 2013. Explain that to me. Yes, ma'am. He drives my car, or whenever it was running, he would drive my car to work and not put oil in it, and I guess he drove it too hard and the engine blew up. Okay. <laughs> was it his job it. to put the oil in it? Yeah, because I'm the only one that makes the money. Did you fail to properly maintain that vehicle? I knew it needed oil, but I was called home from work that night from, from her because her pet was dying. So, me being the sweet guy that I am, I leave work, I go pick her up and her animal, and I, on the way back to take it to the vet, that's when the engine blew. I knew it needed oil. What do you expect me to do? Walk two hours to get to the vet's office? So, so I don't you, have a car. So he was driving at your behest, your request. Yes. You asked him. Yes. Okay, Mr. Mizell. You have asked for $338.95 for the cost of purchasing <laughs> those six pairs of shoes. <laughs> I sure have. I got it. Ms. Mizell, you're a nice, nice young lady. Sweet. You're too young to be married. You're a little spoiled. Yes. Uh, you don't know what it is to be a wife. You have no idea what it is to compromise and sacrifice and show up. You, you know, you were, you were a child playing an adult's game. Anybody who goes into a marriage thinking I got Prince Charming is not ready to get married because there is no such thing. <laughs> you know, I think you were way more ready than she was, even though you didn't want to do it. I think you knew how to make sacrifices. I think you knew how to care for people. I, knew, I think life. you knew how to work hard. And I think you kept trying to satisfy her, no matter what you were doing, it wasn't enough because she wanted, you know, the fairy tale. And no one can deliver you a fairy tale. No one. Let me tell you why nobody's getting anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting anything because he was driving your, your mutual car in order to do something for you. And Mr. Mizell, part of marriage, part of life, part of living with woman, women, is living with a lot of shoes. <laughs> it just is. You bought the shoes. She likes the shoes. There are different colors. I see the point in it. He probably doesn't, but that's okay. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All right. Parties may leave the courtroom. Stacy says their marriage is a work in progress, and one side of that progress is that Travis finally has come to the realization that Stacy is a woman and she is going to shop. Surprisingly, though, as a sign of good faith, Stacy has not purchased even one pair of designer shoes since coming on the show. They both agree that the biggest change.